Hey guys, welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking? My name's Crystal, if you're new here, I wanna say welcome to everyone and welcome back to all of our little YouTube budget community friends. It is that time of week, you guys, and we're gonna do a little bit something different today. I'm actually going to finish out a couple of our holiday-themed savings challenges because we need some time to um, get the donations made and things like that. So if you wanna do savings challenges with me this week, then stick around, I would love to share with you. Oh my goodness, can you guys believe that it's like literally less than a week until Christmas? It is blowing my mind. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you are ready for all of the holiday festivities and what's coming. Uh, we're going to just jump right in today. I've got my planner challenge stickers over here. There goes the dog. Hey, stop. Sorry, y'all. He just seems to know like when I'm filming. Really? Boomer, relax. Okay, so for today we're going to do all of the challenges. I have been working on setting up, okay, first of all, this isn't all savings challenge money. This is money that's gotta go to the bank. And I figured I would do this video before I take it to the bank. Um, you can tell I went grocery shopping, can't you? So there's cash that needs to go to the bank, and then I have a bunch of ones. Okay, so I don't have any tens this week, so we're going to have to make that work. So for today, I am not finishing the planner challenge today. I'm going to go into next week with one lonely, lonely, little lonely number. And I kind of like that number for, oops, I just did those backwards, but that's okay because I do lots of things backwards. So 18 and 19 gives us $37 to go in our planner challenge. What I was saying about 31, it's one of my favorite numbers. It's my birthday, my birthday is January 31st. It is New Year's Eve, which is the day before my wedding anniversary and the day before a new year starts, which I think we kind of all look forward to. So $37 is going into our planner challenge. What do we have? We're going to take a 20. Ooh, that means that we have to take three. Oh, you know what? I've got money here that goes in my pantry savings challenge. Yeah, let me take that out. So that means we've got to take a 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. I think I can make some change. So let's see what we can do here fives and ones and a 20. I know I can at least do a 50, right? 20, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're going to do 20, 40, and 50. Let me check my math. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we'll put 20. We're going to leave. I'm going to put this out here. That's my grocery to pantry challenge money. Put that in there. We'll take the 50. Oh, just one sticky fingers and that gives us $74 so 50 70 50 70 71 72 73 74 so next week we will finish off this challenge with a $31 which will give us $105 in our planner challenge going into the new year I have purchased everything that I need and lots that I want for my planner supplies and stuff um, and I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna move my picker wheel aside here for a minute because I actually don't wanna lose the dice this week. Again, I know, I know. Again, Crystal. Okay, so for Moneyopoly, we finished last week up here. We had $14 that we took out of our money and put into our envelope. So I'm gonna grab my red pen because the first round around the old Moneyopoly board is red. So we're going to roll to see how many spaces we're going to move, and we're going to move two. So I'm going to switch this around, one, two spaces, and it's going to be 12, 18, 
And then we roll, what do we do? Do we roll the 20? I think we do. Yes, we roll the 20. We roll the 20. And we got 17. That's been a popular number lately. So we're gonna put $17 into our Moneyopoly. So we don't have three singles so that we can take a 20. So let's see what happens. If we do a 10, a five, and two ones. Not three, you greedy, greedy girl. Okay, so, you know, when money is like that easily to fly out of your hand, you have to wonder where it's been and what's been going on in its life. So there's nothing I can do there. I can do a 50 with that, 10, 20, and I can do a 20 with that, right? So here's the 20 for that. We'll put 10 and two fives and 20, 40, 50. So here's the 20 that I would have taken out and here's the 50. So we have two 50s that we can turn into a 100. 100, 200, 220. 225, 26, 27, 28, 229. Wow. And I've thought about this challenge, you guys. I've thought about, like, every time I go around the board, like, deciding what to do with each color of ink. So once we get all the way around in red, go ahead and do the YouTube community giveaway for $17 and um, whatever else that we have. And then when we start a new color and maybe use that money to go towards like my big emergency fund or a home project or something like that. And then we go in a different color ink doing um, something different with it. So anyways, crazy thoughts, I know. Okay, so our next one is our win challenge. Now on this one, don't go anywhere. On this one, we only have three numbers left. We have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have four, eight, 12. We have six, 12, and 18. So we're gonna pick a number somewhere between six and 18. Ooh, not 108, girl. Goodness, we'd be here all week. Okay, pick your number, guys. I'm gonna say that it's gonna land on like 18. Why not? Let's go. And it picked... Stop it right now. Okay. All right, everybody. It's time for Crystal to buy scratch-off tickets when she runs out today. Yes, I have errands to do. And um, holy moly Magdalena, it actually landed on a number that I chose. So I will be buying scratch-offs. I have to buy scratch-offs anyway because... Um, because we put them in stockings and on adult gifts. So, $34, 20, 30, one, two, three, four. All right, so let's see what we can cash out. Let's put our 20 here. Let's put our 10 and let's put our ones. And let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Let's do it. Let's do it. That gives me some smaller bills. So we'll put 20s here, 10 here, 5 here, 1s here, pantry challenge here. And we are at 100, 200, 300, 400, 450. 451, 452, and since we know that this challenge goes to 500, 452 plus 30 is 482, 482 plus 18 is 500. We are getting so close to being done, and it's not like I'm going to go anywhere. This money is going to go into the savings account for when it is uh, time to travel, do a little girls trip. All right, so now we get to this one. This is the savings challenge, the first savings challenge that I actually want to fit. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. I want to finish this this week because we need to get this money, 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 money. Okay, so we need to get this money donated. So my dice that rolls 12, we're going to go with that one and we have to do two numbers. Oh, the first one is a seven. 
So let me grab a sticker super quick. And seven has been like one of the very popular numbers. I'm almost out of those. So we'll put a seven on here. And we'll roll one more time. And we got a two. So I'm gonna grab a two. So we owe this challenge nine dollars. So what I want to do is count what we have and make sure that it's equally di divided by five. Um, so let me grab, do I have a single? I don't. So 100, 150, 170, 192, 210, 215, a $10 would make it 225 and give each of my kids. So we're just going to do that. We're going to do a 10 and that's going to give each kid $75, right? So let me grab that 10 and then let's go to work making those three seventy-five dollars So I'm going to exchange a 100 for two fifties. So we've got 50, 50, 50. Then we've got 20, 20, and we'll put this back for a 20. And then... We've got one five here and we need two fives. So I'm going to take that ten and get two fives. So that gives us $75, 50 75 for each boy to donate to their favorite charity. So that is one thing that we're going to get done this coming week, the week before Christmas, is each of them is going to take this $75 and donate it to the charity of their choice. And they've stuck with what they've chosen. Um, Connor actually found a local pet rescue that he wants to donate to. And my other two boys, um, Jackson wants to do something for veterans and RG wants to do something involving like a children's charity or children's hospital that is sponsored by um, an NFL player that he feels it has the integrity and morals and values that he stands for. So we're pretty excited about that. For the Christmas um, trees for each of my boys, I thought it would be kind of cool because next Saturday is actually Christmas Day to actually end the first time that we've ever done this on Christmas Day. So I am only going to do their $24 this week. I'm going to take a single so that they get a five to do and a 20, right? So 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 295, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, 300. Yep, yep, it would be 300. Okay, so I'm gonna take this 20, 40, 45, 36, 37, 48, 49, and 50, and put another 50 in here. So. There's 100, 200, 253, and then next week will be the $25, and that will end them at the 325 that gets collected on the Christmas challenge. We're gonna do the same thing with my other critters. So one, two, 50, 20. We know that it's gonna be 300, so I'm gonna put this money back, and I'm gonna take a 50. Lord have mercy, girl, get it together. 100, 200, 250, and 300. We are so excited to be putting this money in a little bank account for them. They um, they have a bank account, but it doesn't have very much in it. So one of our goals is as we're saving for our own future is that we're putting money aside for our children's future too. So um, yeah, so that is that. One, two, two, fifty-three for Mr. Jackson. And next year we'll be able to do this savings challenge twice. We'll put part of it in the bank for them, then the rest of it is going to go um, towards their Christmas gifts. Okay, so this is our big emergency fund, and I totally forgot last week for us to celebrate the fact that we've filled up one entire row. And yes, I know that there are one, two, three, four, five, six rows, but here's the thing, we are one-sixth of the way done with filling up this sheet. So I'm gonna be super excited for that. We do the picker wheel, um, and this wheel, this row here, we did a number between one and 25. So I thought that for this one, we would pick some random number, so I thought we'd go somewhere between one and 32, 
which is my middle son's baseball number. So let's see what happens. And y'all have to remind me that we're going between 1 and 32 on this one. And we got $16. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so for this challenge, I have to color and put a little sticker on it after I color. So I'm just going to write the 16 there. And we're going to pull the money out and see what we have. Lots of 20s. My goodness. 20, 40, 60, 81. Let's get rid of those. And then pull $16. A 10, a 5, and a 1. So here's where we're at with our emergency fund. 100, 200, 210, 215, 216, 217, 218. So we are at $218 in our big emergency fund. And if you think about the fact that this row was $200, if we kind of keep that as we move up, then this is going to come out to like $1,200. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, it is time to do the pantry challenge. You guys, I've been planning my freezer meal cooking um, that I wanted to get done over the holiday break when I'm off from work. And um, it's going to be expensive. I went online and started pricing like groceries and stuff. And wow. I mean, wow. That's all I can say. I feel like Joey off of uh, Joey Lawrence there. Oh, I'm looking for a marker. Okay. So this week in our, when we did our weekly check-in, we had pantry challenge money from grocery is $56. So let's get that $56 into here and dun, 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 put that on here all right so let's see how much we have it should be getting close to $300 I think um, I'm trying anyway because like just just I decided to do like a ground beef um, and maybe one or two dishes that weren't ground beef and then I'm going to do like a chicken day and maybe a breakfast day. Just the ground beef alone is like $225. So 100, 152, 220, 240, 262, 80, 290, 295, 3, 305, 310, 311, 312, $313. So that is going to, that's going to help tremendously. I'm probably going to have to put what's in the no eat out envelope as well. Um, just so, yeah. All right, so let's go to our no eat out challenge. And if you guys watched my weekly check in video, then you know that I started tracking my no eat outs. So I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, I started tracking my no eat outs by putting these little stickers here at the bottom of the, the page. So we are we are checking in for the week from the 10th through the 16th. So on the 10th we had an eat out. On the 11th is one. The 12th is two. The 13th we ate out. So the 14th is three. The 15th is four. And Thursday the 16th is five. So we have five no eat outs for this week, which means we're going to put $25 in our no eat out envelope and put five stickers on the page. So a 20 and a five. And I'm going to exchange two fives for a 10. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 105. So if I put this $105 with the 300 that's already in the pantry challenge, then I'm sitting right at around 425 and I think that that's about what I'm going to need. On my menu for freezer cooking, I have 20, yep, you heard me, 20 meals or side dishes that I am doubling and sometimes tripling. So I'm going to spend two to three days in my kitchen, which will stock my freezers like nobody's business. So there is that. Okay guys, we got five of those for this week. 
I can put my stickers away. A little spoiler alert. Um, there are only two Saturdays left in this year, in 2021. I am going to be changing what savings challenges I'm doing and how I have them set up for 2022. So we only have two more weeks, you guys. We've got this week and this week, and then all of these savings challenges that are in my binder right now, other than Moneyopoly. So Moneyopoly, oh, what did I do? Oh yeah, they're not in here. Moneyopoly, oh, and my big emergency fund. But I may have to, when I was trying to put my thing together, my big emergency fund is on the back of this. So I may have to print another one of these and redo this line. Yes, I know that that's a pain or something along those lines. But anywho, or maybe I'll just keep it in there. We'll see what happens. But all of these savings challenges are going to be the, the planner challenge, the win challenge will be completed because there's two Saturdays left in the year. This one's done. The Christmas trees will be done next week. And then my pantry and my no eating out, um, I will finish them for 2021 and start fresh in 2022. My Moneyopoly and my big emergency fund will carry over into 2022. And I haven't decided if I want to make my own PDF or keep using this one. So we'll see how that goes. I will definitely keep using this one. I know that it's different, but once I made my decisions, what everything stood for with my um, Chance YouTube community and Roll the Dice and my board and doing the different rounds and different colors, I just love it and I'm not gonna change anything about that. So that is it for this week, you guys. That is all of the savings challenges. I gotta get that money to the bank and that's it. So until next time, you guys, I think my next video is going to be, um, my next video, I think it's going to be a plan with me. So tomorrow on Sunday, I have to set up my planner for the week and get everything squared away. And I will probably bring you guys along for that adventure. But until then, everybody take care of yourselves. Be well. I hope that you are not stressed and obsessed about getting ready for the Christmas holiday. I hope that you are just ready to go and that you're just grateful for anything that you did get done and for the people that you're going to share it with. So hugs and love to everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Christmas in my heart.